Okay, at this point, uh, after I guess about maybe another 15 minutes or so, I was able to get that train of wheel plate on. I'm going to try to demonstrate this without messing it up. But this is the center wheel here. And I'm going to hold the plate down because I haven't screwed it down. And if I turn this, you can see how it turns nice and smoothly. You can actually see the, see the um, main spring turn as well. And once I get it screwed down, I will show you the escapement turning. So I was able to get that on. A lot of persistence. Makes this fun. Eventually it goes on. So now I'm gonna install the screws here. We got the long screw. Next size and then the baby. with the long screw going at the M. Being installed. At the M. Next biggest screw was going on memory here. That point, and then the small screw was at the pallets here. Oops. Oops, that's how you make mistakes. This pallet screw is really just holding on the, a plate that goes on top. I don't know if it's seated right. It's not. Give me a second here. Just did something. That was stupid. What I did was I just moved the pivot hole for the pallets.
Hmm. I'll tell you, man. This is interesting because the pallets have to be in this pivot hole. There it is. Now I can screw it down. Make sure everything turns. Well, with the pallets there, it's not going to turn. But I think we're okay. I finally figured out why they built this to where this pallet bridge comes off because you need to be able to put the pallets in last after you set the train wheel bridge. So I may actually remove that bridge again at some point and just make sure all the gears are moving smoothly. I mean, the pivot holes have the pivots in them from the gears below. I could go on faith. Let's see. Until next time.